Hey guys, Joe Gas here. Welcome to my Classic K2 theme mod video. Today I'm going to be doing a little mini review on how to install my new mod I made on the original iPhone theme smash hit Classic K2. I really liked it and I thought I'd make a new modern twist to it that more people could enjoy. So let's take a look. It's got a nice space background with icons that have a twist to them but yet they're not original. There's a dock that's kind of rounded with a nice indent and a matte type of look. The status bar is a nice shade of black and it goes perfectly with the theme. All in all, I really like this and I'd actually give this a 10 out of 10. It's definitely going to be my primary theme. I modified this myself. Now let's get started on how to actually download this and put this on your iPod. Well, you came this far, so you might be interested in downloading my theme and installing it onto your iPod. Let's head over to josafe.tumblr.com. The link will be located in the description. There you'll get a full HD preview of the theme as well as a download link. Click here and it should download immediately into your downloads folder. I'm going to get that right now. What you want to do is locate the mod folder. It should look like this. The readme is basically a uh, copyright saying that I did not originally create the theme, I just modified it by changing the wallpaper and dock, and it is not intended to be sold or anything else like that. The most important file is obviously the dot .theme folder, and the only way to get this onto your iPod is by SSHing. Now in the description, you're going to get a download link for Cyberduck or WinSCP, the two primary SSH um, file transferring applications for Windows or Mac. Now, that's not all you're going to need for SSHing. You're also going to want to go into Cydia and type in Open SSH. Once you've typed that in, search for the package and install it. Okay, you should be good. Open up Cyberduck or WinSCP. If you're on a Mac, obviously Cyberduck. Once this loads, you're going to want to log in via SSH. So click on Open Connection. The server is the IP address. Don't worry, this cannot affect you by any way. It's not your main router's IP, it's only your iPods. The username is root, and the password default is Alpine. But I modified that so people don't hack into it. Now let's head over and change FTP to SFTP, which is also short for SSH. Let's click Connect. And here we are. We're going to navigate to our library folder. I'm sorry. Go all the way to your slash, go to library, and then themes. In the themes, you'll have all the themes that are installed via Winterboard. Simply drag Classica 2 Mod into that directory. I've already done that. Once it's dragged in, you're going to want to head over to your iPod, open up Winterboard, select the theme, and respring your springboard. After that, you should be good to go. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial on theme video, and I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe, and have a nice day.